Hi and welcome to another video by SQLAzureTutorials.com. Today our topic is working with tables in Microsoft SQL Azure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this topic. As for as today's agenda, we are going to start off by connecting to SSMS. Uh, SSMS, uh, if you don't know, is SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, in order to connect to SQL Azure, you do need to have SQL Server 2008 R2, uh, which is the release 2 version. So if you just have the basic uh, uh, version, you will need to upgrade, which you can from the uh, Microsoft or MSDN uh, website. Now, as far as in SQL Azure, uh, you do have to use T-SQL to uh, create objects. Uh, unfortunately, as of now, there are no uh, graphic user interface, uh, you know, that you may be uh, used to uh, if you're working with SQL Server, obviously, you are familiar with that. So, uh, in some ways, you, you're going to have to uh, kind of get reacquainted with using uh, Transact SQL. So, for this um, training, demo we are going to cover the create table statement essentially we'll go over the syntax with examples we will also cover um, alter table SQL syntax which obviously is used to uh, make changes things like adding new columns uh, dropping uh, columns maybe adding some constraints so um, uh, this is definitely what we need to do and uh, let us quickly talk about uh, SSMS and then we will get into a demo. Uh, like I mentioned, SSMS is uh, SQL Server Management Studio. This is, uh, you know, the one-stop shop for any kind of uh, development and uh, DBA tasks that you can do. Um, the nice thing about SQL Azure is that you can you can connect, uh, you know, to some uh, some objects, I guess, through SSMS. But um, as you will see in a minute, it is a cut down version of Management Studio. You will not have a lot of the other options um, that you may have uh, taken for granted. So essentially, um, again, you need to have a SQL Server R2 version, and uh, for our case, we are using. This server in one of the other demos, we uh, we showed you how to sign up for this. So I'm going to go ahead and try to launch uh, Management Studio here, and we'll connect using my credentials. Looks like uh, I already have the the server name. I am using SQL Server authentication here, and that is my username. I will go ahead and enter my password. And let's jump jump into it and see what we have. So again, if you're not familiar uh, with this, uh, you will see the icon looks a little bit different for Azure. Uh, and we have a very limited number of uh, options. You have your database tab under which you have uh, one uh, system database, which is master. And then I have some user database. Real quickly, you also have a security tab where you do see, uh, you can see the logins, which I'm just, I just have one login in here. And then you have the management tab. So you definitely don't have things like, um, you know, SQL Server agent, uh, some of the other uh, management options. Now, as far as under, under the databases, you do have uh, some more options. Uh, in there. So today, like I mentioned, we will be uh, working with tables. Uh, we do not have any tables as of yet in the sales database, which is going to be the primary uh, one we will be working with. So I just uh, simply wanted to show you the um, uh, SSMS. And like I mentioned, you can only use SQL authentication. So there is no Windows authentic authentication, which um, you may know is the actual preferred option to um, work with SQL Server, but for uh, SQL Azure, uh, we do not have that option. So as far as uh, creating table, um, you have to use uh, T-SQL to create uh, data objects, like I mentioned. Uh, the basic syntax for the uh, create table statement, which is obviously used to create a table, is uh, to go um, the expression create table, then you are going to use the table name. Uh, it does not need to be in brackets unless you have a space in the table name then you have the parentheses uh, and you're uh, simply gonna uh, start writing field 
field one data type actually you do need to have a comma in here so I will make that change and you keep going and then you just uh, finish the statement by a close parenthesis so let's go ahead and look at some examples and then uh, at the end it mentions you can also get the syntax by the RMB which is uh, right mouse uh, button so I'm going to switch back to the management studio and I am actually going to go ahead and uh, open up a um, file that I had uh, created earlier and we were we will simply walk through these so like I mentioned uh, you know we are using the create table statement and for most of these examples I have actually used uh, Northwind database which is a sample database that uh, uh, came with uh, that has been around a long time it actually came uh, with SQL Server 2000 uh, I just uh, like the um, simple structure of it so I think that's a good place to start in case uh, maybe you're new to SQL Azure and whatnot. So uh, as for the code, uh, you're going to basically, uh, like I mentioned, start with create table. We will give it a name. And then uh, within these parentheses, we uh, basically have uh, the, the fields or the columns listed. Now in, in here, if you were to look, this would be the field name. This is the, the data type. So we are creating basically character data for our ID um, field and then we are also uh, forcing it to be not null and not null basically is going to make sure that when you are inserting data into this table that you do have to um, enter a value for that field and so uh, in a similar fashion we have the company name which is again character data here's the length this is not null and you'll notice the commas right after it and then we have the contact name which is the person's name and then again character data and then for this one we are actually allowing null so so I will go ahead and select this one do a, a parse check which means basically it's checking the syntax and then I will go ahead and execute the statement then I will uh, browse to the left side and then simply uh, right click and do a refresh and here is my table with the columns in it that we just created so pretty pretty simple statement a uh, couple things to point out if you have worked with um, uh, you know basically an on-premise uh, SQL server you um, may have seen this expression as part of the create table statement uh, and what this really means is that you are creating a table on the primary file group now for SQL Azure that's not an issue because all the physical um, hard hardware and file structure is taken care of by Microsoft so we don't have to worry about about this part so that that is why I have commented commented this out so similarly I'm going to create another table which is going to be uh, the orders table one thing I'd like to mention here is the um, in the first field basically it's the order ID which is going to be the primary key which we will cover primary key foreign key and uh, database relationships in a separate uh, training video and this one we simply want to cover uh, how to work with tables now for this field you will notice that we do have a column um, that we are using as identity and identity if you don't know is basically an auto number field that as the data comes into this table it will start with the number one and uh, as new records come in it will increment by one so the record so the order ID for the first record would be one it would be two for the next one three and so on and so forth and as such this field has to be not null and then you will notice that we do have some other data types we're using an order date uh, date time basically data type for that and we also have some other um, data types we're using so I will go ahead and uh, simply select this go ahead and execute this or also you can do F5 this goes ahead and creates my table I will again um, come to the left side do a refresh and now I do have two tables uh, essentially in the database but uh, at this point we do not have any data now uh, like I mentioned uh, in the PowerPoint that once you do have a table uh, you can simply uh, select it 
right click on script table as and then do a create so this is this is nice at least you know once you get the table in you don't have to go back to your uh, SQL scripts you can actually do uh, utilize this functionality you can um, push this T SQL script to a new query window if you like or you can uh, also move it to a file or a clipboard so we are going to just simply select the first option Okay, so the, you know this this generated essentially the the T SQL code. Now, if you look at this one, and look at the one we have, uh, it's it's pretty much the same. Except you will notice that in here they have used a lot of brackets, and uh, also you know they added a couple of options in there. Uh, they they added some um, comments in there. Interestingly, um, you know they're they're using the use sales. Um, command which by the way uh, let me this is a little uh, sidetrack but let me do this I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, delete this table for now uh, interestingly uh, if you select delete for a table uh, I found out this the other day that you do get a little dialog box for this uh, which is interesting because I haven't seen too many of these but let's go ahead and delete this I simply want to show you uh, something. If I selected this code, and then uh, let me just parse it. It looks good, but uh, let's let's try this. If I go to master, and if I open up uh, a new new blank query, let me minimize this. You will notice that we down here we are in master database. I am going to paste the code that I was working with, and go ahead and everything looks good I will parse it again notice that now it says use statement is not supported between databases use a new connection to connect to a different database so this is um, they did you know add this as part of their code but if I ran the statement it will not work so use uh, the use uh, SQL statement is uh, will not work what you have to pretty much do is close this session go back to your object explorer select sales database right click on it select new query let's go ahead and paste this and now if you work I mean now if you execute this it it should work in theory alright so now it works so just be aware of uh, some of these limitations of working with SQL Azure and um, let's go ahead and switch gears the next thing we are going to look at is alter table so uh, alter table is basically used to um, make uh, any kind of changes to a table so you could do things like uh, adding new columns modifying ex existing columns or uh, dropping columns you can also add constraints which we will uh, take a look at possibly in the next video demo because uh, we are trying to keep a lot of these training sessions um, right around 30 minutes or less uh, but um, regardless you can add constraints like primary key foreign key and check constraints using um, the ultra statement and you can also uh, rebuild the table including partitions and indexes now as far as the syntax um, it is it is fairly lengthy so I, I figured if I can just copy this link and point this out to you you could uh, look at this is basically from MSD 